What up, YouTube? Today, <laughs> oh, I'm funny, y'all. But now, nah, look, <laughs> today's video, I want to talk about third dimension prisons and fifth dimensional shifts, right? So, like, I've been made a video about this a long time ago, but you know, ain't nothing wrong with an update slash review. So, listen, as you know, like, if you actually follow in the conscious movement, like, if that's what you want to call it, I mean, I don't really call it the conscious movement, I just, you know what I'm saying, just conscious, you know what I'm saying, conscious is not just a term you use just to try to be cool, conscious is actually mean that you're aware, consciousness, awareness, to be aware is to be alive, you see what I'm saying? To be conscious means that your brain is aware that it's alive. You see what I'm saying? See, a lot of people ain't going to get that because they're not conscious. They're not aware. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't even believe that they exist. Like, what type of dumb shit is that? <laughs> like, some people don't believe that they exist. I mean, I don't know. That's some dumb shit. I don't know. But anyway, so, like I said, if you've been following the conscious movement, blah, 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 whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? You would know that the Earth is really a prison planet. You know, you got some people, oh my God, I can't believe this. You're a scary man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just funny, but uh, <laughs> I just have to say that. But, you know what I'm saying? The Earth is a prison planet. The hint is in these movies. Then you got these dummies out here, right? Hold on, let me do the voice that these dummies do. <clears throat> How do you know that this is even real? Who told you this information? What makes you so special that you get to know? Well, <clears throat> first things first, if you wake your dumb ass up, yeah, maybe you would learn something if you stop being so goddamn stupid. Like, that's my only response. And this is not for the people that's aware of what's going on. Like, people, they stuck. See, when people talk about this stuff, this is exactly where I'm going with this video. People are stuck. In the third dimension, they're stuck. So I'm I'm getting to explaining this, but I know it's gonna be dummies asking questions like this to their friend or who they call their friend or this person, that person, this alien over here, this ugly motherfucker right here. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But dummies ask these type of questions. See, I already said this. Me, I always been different. You know what I'm saying? Like real talk. My soul is not from this planet. Oh my God, I'm afraid of him. Ah, ah, ah. Well, you goddamn buffoon. You would know if you were conscious and aware of who you are and you actually did some research and started, instead of running that knob slobber, that dick liquor and shit. Like, if you stop running that, <laughs> I'm funny. Maybe you would, maybe you would know something. Maybe the most high, maybe the Elohim, you know what I'm saying? Maybe the universe will actually manifest this type of information inside of you but you so that you so goddamn stupid because you stuck in the third dimension you see what i'm saying so this is what i'm getting at with this video you know what i'm saying i just know it's gonna be people out there asking these type of questions you know what i'm saying like me i'm special i'm different you know what i'm saying i don't fit in with the world i don't fit in with church i don't fit in with the world you want to know why because i'm chosen See, that's how you know you chosen. Shout out to Tiario. He made a video about this. Tiario know what he talking about. He talk about like Jesus and God. He used them terms, but hey, that's the stuff he believe in. That's his faith. You know what I'm saying? I can't knock him for that. But me, I have discernment. I know how to decipher the good information from the bad information. I know how to do that. So when I listen to these videos, I, I can take the spirituality out of it and use it to help the benefit to benefit me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm different. I already know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? So, listen. If you know, like, it's movies out here. The hints is in these movies, right? Like, this movie called Dark City. That that movie, oh, my God, was, like, telling you so much truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, this dude, you know what I'm saying? He woke up in a bathtub, blah, blah, blah. And he woke up in this world. He didn't know where he was at. And it was always dark. Obviously, that's why it's called Dark City. And they had these little ugly, little alien things, right? They call 
something with a chum or something like that. And they had powers, right? But they didn't have soul powers. They had, like, demonic powers. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got powers, but they don't have, like, human powers. You see what I'm saying? Because human beings, you know what I'm saying? Like, human bees, bumblebees, we buzz like the bee. Our brain is shaped like the face of a bee. You know what I'm saying? They don't have that pineal gland. They didn't have that soul energy. He had this soul energy where he'd get scared of something, and he'd think about something, he'd manifest something right there. They wanted to know how the human... They wanted to know how humans was able to get souls, and they couldn't. So what they would do, every time the clock hits 12, they would go, right? They'd freeze time, and they'd take this little serum and inject it into their forehead, right? To their pineal gland. And they will take their memories and inject it into somebody else and take that person's memories and put it in that person. And every time 12 hits, they will be a new person every day, right? Because they wanted to see how the human mind works, but they couldn't figure it out because they don't have souls. The universe didn't get them that information because they're demonic. They're demons. They don't get this information. You cut off from the universe. You see what I'm saying? And this dude, he had those powers to fight them back. And he keep having these memories. He don't know what they're about because they took his memories too. So it's affecting him, but he knows something ain't right. You know what I'm saying? So long story short, blah, blah, blah. He ended up defeating these beings, right? Well, before I even get to that, it was just one dude. He was what people he he is what society would call schizophrenic or crazy. Like Dave Chappelle said, right? There's no such thing as crazy. That's dismissive. Maybe maybe their environment is a little sick. Ain't no such thing as crazy. You see what I'm saying? You just you just dumb. You just don't understand. You see what I'm saying? I mean, you don't understand. You don't understand. You understand because you're under Satan, but you don't understand or overstand. You see what I'm saying? So, it was just one dude, you know what I'm saying? He, oh my God, something ain't right. They, every time 12 hit, blah, 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 they doing this, they doing that. And dude looking at him like, because he, he don't even know what the fuck going on. He confused just as well. You know what I'm saying? So, dude knew something wasn't right, but people weren't believing him. There's people under these spells and all this stuff that these demonic entities was putting them under. So he ended up killing himself and jumping in front of a train. Because he just knew someone right. So, this evil doctor and stuff, he working for the uh, entities. You know what I'm saying? He worked with the mind. He worked with psychology. You know what I'm saying? But he couldn't get dude who had the third eye abilities. He couldn't get dude because dude had powers to open up doors so he can escape. Do all this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't get to him. So anyway, long story short, blah, 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 he ended up taking his sledgehammer and, like, hitting, like, this brick wall. And when the brick wall, like, burst open, he's saying that they was in a universe, that Earth had some type of illusion, like, force field around it. So they was already, they was already in space, but Earth was just taken over by these demonic entities, so they was under an illusion. You see what I'm saying? That's what's going on now. That was what they, that's basically what they telling you what the third dimension is. Then you got this movie, They Live. I've been telling people watch that movie, They Live. Motherfucker's too goddamn dumb. That movie will wake you up. Oh my God, that movie is crazy. I might just watch that movie again. That's how real it is. Telling you that these entities live. You look at that people, these people not really people. You put the sunglasses on, you see that these are some ugly ass aliens. You know what I'm saying? And you take the glasses off, they look like humans. Put the glasses on, you see what's, you know what I'm saying? You look at a billboard, it's a sleep. Don't question authority. You look at money, this is your God. Get married, reproduce. Like, I'm telling you, man, that movie real. Like, this stuff real. This is exactly what's going on on this planet. They're giving you these hints in the movies. But people, they too damn dumb. Oh, it's just a movie. Blah, blah, blah. That's not real. Only thing that's real is what they tell us on TV. You know what I'm saying? Like, they tell you and they live. Watch TV. You know what I'm saying? Sleep. Go shopping. Don't think. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, to get to the point, right? Fifth dimensional shift, right? Like I said, if you've been following my videos, you've been watching the 13th Sun videos, if you've been watching RFG Chosen One videos, like Flirt Burn, it's just so many people, man. I can't, I can't even name them all. It's just so many people that's telling you about these shifts, right? So, look. The shift is already taking place. Is it complete yet? I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if it's not. I don't know if it's 100% done, but we're living in the fifth dimensional shift right now. So 
when the 13th son was saying in his videos, right, how the earth going to split from third dimension to fifth dimension, it's a spiritual thing. And it's a physical thing, but it's more of a spiritual thing. It's not going to be like a physical shift, but you just, boom, you and Mars. No, that's not how it works. You see what I'm saying? That's years and years and years of evolution. But, so basically, right, third dimension is hell, right? It's a 3D, it's a 3D prison. It's a prison for your soul. That's why we have vessels, blood vessels, cells. It's a cell. You know what I'm saying? The body is nothing but a prison for the soul. That's why it's made up of cells. To keep the soul entrapped in this vessel. Right? So, when you stuck in the third dimension, right? What's in the third dimension? Sex, drugs, um, evil, you know what I'm saying? Violence, hate, that's all the same stuff as evil. Um, you know what I'm saying? Negative thoughts, negative people, uh, recycling, doing the same dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? That's all in there, right? So if you don't come out that mind state and you don't get your light codes, sun gaze, eat right, do all this type of stuff, you know what I'm saying, actually get your mind right, open up your pineal gland, you stuck in the third dimension, right? The fifth dimension is not you just going to bling or any. No, that's not how it works. The fifth dimension is everything is thoughts. You know what I'm saying? The fifth dimension is everything is positive. So a person that's living in the third dimension and they stuck in the third dimension, all they going to see is that negative stuff that I just said. But if you're in the fifth dimension, only thing you're going to see is positivity. So you on the same plane, you're on the same earth, different plane, different dimension. You see what I'm saying? So if you're in the fifth dimension, you're not going to see no negative stuff. All you're going to see is success, positivity, great things. That's all you're going to see. The tables will turn, right? The tables will turn. Meaning that you got out the third dimension. Like, you've seen that third dimensional stuff at first, but you got out of that. Now you're seeing the fifth dimension. So, only thing you're going to see is successful things. So, in your reality, in your world, since you live in the fifth dimension up here, you know what I'm saying? As above, so below. So, if you got the fifth dimension up here, which is heaven, that means the fifth dimension in heaven is going to manifest around you. Uh, creating your own reality. Right? So, that means the only, only thing you're going to see is positivity. So, you on the same earth, different dimension. So this person that's stuck in the third dimension, the same dumb shit they've been teaching for the past thousands and thousands of years, you know what I'm saying? That's all they're going to be stuck in. Oh my God, drama this. Oh my God, drama that. Oh my God, did you hear what she just said? Oh my God, did you hear what he just said? Oh my God, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? But if you're in the fifth dimension, you're going to be able to manifest things. You think about something, it's going to manifest. You think about somebody, they're going to call you. You think about somebody, they're going to text you. you in that world. All you're going to see is positive things. Your life is going to start to get better. It's like the 13th son said, when you start planting these seeds, whatever you want, whatever seeds that you plant, meaning if you start a business, like I say, if you started a business a couple years ago, that's what's going to grow for you. If you're starting a YouTube channel a couple years ago, that's what's going to grow for you. you doing your music thing, Without selling your soul. That's what's going to grow, grow for you. You see what I'm saying? Like, you do art, you're an artist, blah, blah, blah. You're a lawyer, a doctor, and that's what you put your energy in. That's the seeds that you plant. That's what's going to grow for you. You're in the fifth dimension. All positive things. You see what I'm saying? So you're on the same plane, different dimension. You get what I'm saying? So the people that's stuck in the third dimension, them the negative people, them the haters, them the jealous demons, them the people that think stupid shit all the time, that's them. They stuck in the third dimension. I know you probably want to curse them out. I want to curse them out too. But I have to remember, they stuck in the third dimension. So we on two different dimensions. You know what I'm saying? So they don't understand what's going on in this higher dimension because they stuck in the third dimension. Could they make it out the third dimension? They could, but it's going to take a lot of fucking work because they years and years behind. Plus they light coach years and years behind. You see what I'm saying? Their information is years and years behind. They don't want to give up the dumb shit. They still stuck in the religious shit. They still stuck in this. They still stuck in that. So they gone. They in the third dimension. All they gonna see is third dimensional things. Drama, dumb shit. People that's in the fifth dimension, everything that you all the seeds that you planted, even till now, that's what's gonna grow for you. So if you're going to school to be a doctor, you're gonna be successful in that. If you putting all your energy into your clothing line or whatever, that's what's gonna grow for you. You see what I'm saying? Your life is going to change for the better. That's why a lot of people now, include myself, like the stuff that I've been through in the past, when I was stuck in the third dimension trying to get out all that negative shit I was seeing, it's starting to flip around. Things are starting to get positive. Now, there's going to be some hardships here and there because it's test. The universe got to test you to see if you're still ready to continue to go up this ladder. Blink Winnie. You see what I'm saying? So, basically, 
That's what's going on. You know what I'm saying? The stuff that you do is going to grow for you. You know what I'm saying? All the negative stuff is starting to starting to pass, and all things are starting to get positive and better now. You see what I'm saying? Because you're living in the fifth dimension. People don't, excuse me, people don't understand that. You want to know why? Because they're stuck in the third dimension. So I just broke that down. Third dimension, third dimensional prison, fifth dimensional shift. Wake the damn up. Real, 100% truth. If you're spiritual, you understand what I'm saying. If you dumb, you're stuck in the third dimension. Uh, duh. Uh, yeah, uh, that way.